Hey all, this is Andy from Sense with Andy. As is my custom, every year I try a poly poly hybrid and every year I seem to not like poly poly hybrids. But this year is different. I actually found one I like. So here we go. So this is the um, head hawk touch in the mains, a 17 gauge uh, with head links tore the orange drink. Um, and the crosses at uh, 17 gauge as well. So head 17 gauge is actually um, uh, 1.25 millimeters. So that's uh, 16 gauges, 16 L for some companies. Um, so this is a string that's a string combo that's used by Musetti, or at least claims to be used by Musetti. Um, so sh he shrinks it up at 53, 53. Um, but I really wanted to get a nice, um, opening of the string pattern so i strung mine up uh in the my head extreme at 48 pounds in the mains and then 45 in the crosses um so first of all with the head hawk touch let me read the description first uh so head hawk touch monofilament string features a bigger crystalline inner core responsible for providing ultimate control to your game designed for high level tour and tournament players the string's elasticity allows for accurate feedback and ex exclusive feel so you can follow through with your versatile game and perfect, perfectly control every stroke. So it's definitely a control-oriented string and I mean that like it is stiff, super stiff. And um, I can feel this immediately when stringing up the racket. Um, just unwinding the, the, the string took like a few minutes because it was just coiling up on it, uh, on itself. So it definitely felt super stiff and um, I shrunk it up 48 pounds. Head actually recommends that you string it at 10% um, at, uh, lower than your um, normal uh, rate. So the, uh, so it was super stiff, so I, I wanted to open it up a bit. So I strung the crosses, which is the head links tour, uh, right here, the orange one, at 45 pounds. And uh, typically, um, uh, the brighter strings, they're a little bit more lively. So even though head links tour, uh, so the head hawk touch and the mains is the, the stiffer polyester is rounded. Head links tour is hexagonal and um it definitely felt softer and because it's bright i figured it would be uh the pigment will cause it to be a little bit livelier too and overall um just my feeling of it on the court was really really good um really loved loved it on the forehand loved it on the backhand it's one that really encouraged you to, to swing out and i could actually feel the um i felt the control from the the mains, the head hawk touch, but I could really feel it soften up in, in terms of, um, it was controlled, but it didn't necessarily feel overly stiff. And um, if I was trying to push the ball, then that's when I could get a little bit of the launchiness. But if I really swung out, um, used top spin, I was able to dial in both forehand and backhand. I mean, my serves, my, especially my kick serve were kicking up really, really high. Um, I played with it on clay as well as on indoor heart and on clay the, the serves were kicking up high and it was giving me adequate power on the, the um, first serve as well too. Volleys was where I, I struggled a bit and that's just due to uh, mainly due to my form. Um, so I'm used to, uh, I, I've used two different sort of rackets. So I've used like players frame, like old school players frames that are uh, headlights uh, really quite heavy and those you kind of just stick the racket out and it does the work on the volleys Well, it's something like the head extreme tour and um, I didn't really I haven't really added so much weight to it. Um, I added some right It's still a little bit on the flimsy side. So you can't just kind of stick your racket out. You, ha you have to actually um, have good form uh, actually I choke up on the racket a bit on the volleys and um, really trying to put my body weight moving forward into the volleys. So that helped. And um, I think that's that's the only sort of knock, but it's just more of a knock on my form as opposed to anything. But uh, definitely recommend this. Um, head has a winner with this combination. Um, let me read up on the, hold on.
see if I could do this live. Head links tour. I want to read up on the description as well. Uh, so the a bit on the price. So the Hat Hawk Touch was sixteen bucks. A little bit on the pricier side, I'd say. Um, Head links tour. They're saying is thirteen dollars. So let me read the description um, from Head right now. Product information. Okay, so designed for the harder, harder hidden intermediate to advanced player, the unique six edge design of this co polyester will provide the ultimate blend of control and spin. So it's definitely um, meant to be a, a spin uh, friendly string. A monofilament made out of a new co polymer mix, which also increases durability while still being uh, while being still comfortable to play. So definitely, definitely did feel the comfort and. Um, one thing that I may end up playing around with in the future um, is increasing the tension a bit. Uh, I think I could probably bump it up a little bit higher. Right now, I'm at 48, 45. So I could probably do like 51, 48. Um, or as well, um, it'd be interesting, but I don't think I would do it. But if, if for example, you value the, the spin and the comfort a little bit more than sort of the, that dead feel in terms of control, then I would say perhaps think about switching it up. So put the head links tour, the orange string right here, in the mains, and then put the head hawk touch, uh, the anthracite string in the crosses, right? And I think that should give you more um, spin, uh, more power, but it might uh, be a little bit less of that dead uh, control feel and string. But ho hopefully you like it. Um, had a uh, great job on this one. And um, I, encourage, I encourage you all to check out um, Dennis Fabian's uh, uh, interview with Michelle. And uh, they did a really nice podcast. And they went through the entire head uh, string line. And I feel, I feel bad for the marketing folks at head because it must be impossible to, to really remember all the head strings because there's they're just so many. But they did a good job going through it. And I think they went through it accurately. And um, I think you can see why this combination in particular would work very well. All right, this is Andy from Tense with Andy. Play smart and see results.